Six most disturbing forest encounters caught on camera. This was like an intro to a video game. A horror game. In April of 2020, a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His I first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints and from the pattern assumed it was a person. He grabbed his nearby GoPro and started filming. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck. Oh, hell no. Nah. Right now. Hell no. Nah. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, he's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where... Yo, bro, if he's walking around your truck, just scream. You got an AK-47 and you're coming out to play, bro. Like, like what was you going to do, bro? He's already around your truck, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're sleeping in there in the middle of the forest. See, no one was on that road. Which, he's touching my truck. How am I supposed to get him away? Yo! He's literally knocking. Fuck that. No, 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 fuck that. Oh, that would be horrible. I'm so scared right now. He's literally peeking through the door right now. Whoever was out there knocks on the truck and tries the door handles, all while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. Fortunately, he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. Oh, fuck After multiple that. After minutes, footsteps are finally heard leaving. When it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his trunk, specifically on his back window from someone trying to see inside, and a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Yo! Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches. So he was like sleeping in the back and some. Nah, bro, that's too. Bro, why would you be part? If you're in a car, why are you part to the forest, man? Is stuff like that. Um. Uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back can. If you sleep in your car, you gotta have your yeah, bro, 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 bro. Yeah. L listen, if you're telling me I'm sleep, if I'm in America, right, and I'm sleeping in a truck in the middle of the forest, I'm taking a gun, bro. I'm taking a gun. P was locked, but, um, yeah, that was the result, so. For someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. Yeah, weird. And it couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. Weird. The person didn't even have a light, and this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. Wait, Tay, upstairs neighbors making knocking noises and I thought it was the video. Tay, run. Tay, run. <laughs> You're being haunted. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog on a trail in Provo, Utah. What's that? And he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead of him. That is cute. He immediately pulled out his phone and started recording. But it wasn't a bobcat. Rather, it was a baby cougar. Oh, shit. The video then shows the mother cougar coming into view. Uh oh! Oh, it's a trap! Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, time to go, bro. Time to go. Yeah, yeah, you, go. You, you, you. Is that what you do? You scream at? Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's massive! Oh. Oh my god! Oh. Would that would that fucking kill? That would kill him, wouldn't it? That would kill him. That would kill him, wouldn't it? But what would it? I don't know how dangerous cougars are. Oh. 
No! Oh my <laughs> fucking! I would shit it. I would actually shit it. Very dangerous. Go! Go! He's just protecting his Go. babies. No! No! That would kill him easy. Go away! Go away! Please go away! <laughs> Yo, bro said please, like it's gonna understand manners. Yo, yo, the cougar. Ah, oh, sorry, man. So, so, sorry, mate. Oh, holy! Just scream. Nice and slow. Come on. Ah! <laughs> yo. Oh no. my god, I don't think it's I working. I was left in a standoff with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. But the cougar continues to follow him, oh, and wow. at times even lunges at him. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. Wait, wait, you, wait, that's what you shouldn't do is turn your back to it? This prompts the cougar to try and attack, oh. even within only feet of him. Go away! No! <sighs> Taste, dude. Hell no, bro. Trying to attack and your eyes are looking away from you. How do you get away go from away. it? No, go away. From go a brick. No. Oh my god. No. How does he get away? Yeah, get away. Wait, what? What did he do? Wait, what did he do? <laughs> Bro, did he pull his ass out? Bro, he, he turned around and bent over and he starts running. Look! What did he do? Fought on it! Yeah, get away <laughs> What? Oh, he threw a rock? The encounter lasts for an entire six minutes. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, oh. scaring the animal into running away. Cougar oh, encounters okay. with hikers are extremely dangerous and can often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, wow. the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. Yeah, I'd be dead, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'd be dead. I, I would... <laughs> I'd be so dead. Cause I would, I, in that instance chat, for six minutes, I would have to run, bro. I would have to run for my life. In and February I'd be dead. of 2013, a few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. The noises were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. Ugh. It was loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. One of the residents that heard the sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Bro, what the- what is wrong with your fucking camera, bro? Like, why do they have these cameras, man? Jesus. Yo! It's an animal. What animal could it be? Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes, but others don't think so. What? Saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine-like shriek and you're, aren't nearly- You're telling me coyotes sound like that? Bro, yeah, if you was going to tell me it's an animal, I would say a monkey. But does America have monkeys? It's loud. It's still unclear when exactly was making the noise that night. No, Lisa you don't. Is a girl who owns monkey in Florida. It's a YouTube channel where she documents her life living in a van. She travels across North America recording her you experience as she goes. The videos almost always follow more of a vlog style, showing the different forests or places she stays at overnight, or the journeys to get there. People in Walmart. <laughs> However, in February of 2022, something different was uploaded. Lisa was sleeping in her van when she woke up to the sound of knocking right next to her ear. Oh my fucking! 
It was 4.30 in the morning and someone was outside. She sat there frozen, not knowing what to do. The knock then came again and this time she uttered out a confused hello. There was no response. It would be completely silent for the next 15 minutes. Eventually she heard footsteps coming back and this time grabbed her camera to record. Drive away. Dri oh. Somebody's back here again. I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? There was no response. She quietly got up and went to the front of her van to look outside. In the distance, there were headlights. The car backs away and so she turns the camera to herself and begins explaining what just happened. A few minutes into this and she hears footsteps again. I hear footprints. Yo, drive away! You hear that? Yeah, somebody was just here again three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. I seen them walking and they hid behind the, the uh, tree there. And then they went to um, a car. The same car that was here earlier. Well, that was back and then it backed away and left again three times in one night. This time, um, they didn't knock though. They were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. When it got light outside later that morning. Yo, why would you not drive away, bro? And then if they're getting in front of the car, then you're playing bowling, mate. Like, there ain't no way I'm staying there. She got out of her van and found footprints all around it. So I come out this morning and you can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. See? They were actually... There's some more. Wait, wait, that. wait. They were... There's toes, were actually. These are toes. So you, you're telling me they're bare feet. You're telling me they're bare feet, bro. There's some more. Look at that. They came here. They were standing here. As Big fuck. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking from inside? It's likely the man had worse intentions. Weird. I don't know why. Listen, I don't know why she won't leave. This video was taken by a mountain biker in Vancouver, Canada. It. He had set up his phone camera to get a shot of him riding down a part of the mountain. Just as he comes down and passes the camera, he suddenly hits the brakes and starts calling out. He then comes back in the frame, walking back up the mountain with his bike. As he does so, he keeps looking back behind him. Blocking his path was a bear, who was now following him. Oh my god. Hey, hey. Hey. Did you hear? I heard a growl. Don't turn your back, bro. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it's actually quite cute. Oi! Hey! Hey! Hey, yo, hey, bitch, you better pick that shit back up, bro! The fuck? Who's watching this? The kid uses his bike to make himself look bigger. He hits it on the ground a few Smart. times, causing the bear to retreat back to the camera where it knocks it over. The bear then stands over the camera for a while longer. Finally, it retreats completely, allowing the kid to retrieve his phone and get back to safety. Jesus, man. Yeah, bet I did consent to film it. September 6, 2016, <laughs> a Reddit post was made linking to a video that claimed to feature a- Black bears fight back and mate line noses. Yes, he, he, he did well there picking up the bike. On September 6, 2016, a Reddit post was made linking to a video that claimed to feature a weird noise from the woods. What's that? Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud, really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower, but can those towers make noises like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. 
This is the video. Yeah, something's malfunctioning Commentators there. immediately started speculating what the sound could have been. One of them suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through a nearby cell tower, the metal on metal being what created the eerie tone. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night, and even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel but said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. Yo, it could have been that. Someone like drilling into something, but yeah, this this late, bro? This late? The, the only people doing that this late people are like bank robbers, bro. Robbers. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. Nero <laughs> <laughs> said my son practicing the flute. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, it's, it's just on. It's just... <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, man. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Tell your son he's really good. He's really good, bro. 